The Denny Hamlin jump restart controversy just will not go away. All right, this controversy just will not go away because now his crew chief, Chris Gabehart, is speaking out about Denny Hamlin jumping the final restart at Richmond on Sunday night. It's now Thursday, by the way. And earlier in the week, Chris Gabehart told fans to stop crying. So now four days later, he decides to go on Sirius XM NASCAR, and I would argue maybe cry just a little bit, as he tried to convince fans that he was right. And that's like telling Turks they can't have kebabs. It's just not going to work. Nobody's going to side with him on that one. And now the smartest guy in the garage area, I can only assume might be self-appointed, that title is out here telling everybody that Denny wasn't wrong because... As Kyle Larson and a number of other people have said, Denny's never wrong. Denny's the greatest, as they say. And a lot of people say that like jokingly, except I'm not even sure it's a joke anymore. So Denny wasn't wrong, except NASCAR said he was wrong because they said that, yeah, he rolled early there. So Chris goes on Sirius XM NASCAR. Take a listen to what he has to say real quick. It was in that position or we were the 19 or the 22. I would say this exactly the same way. So let me be clear. If you're going to penalize the 11 car in that instance, you must also penalize the 19, the 22, and the 5 because they were all laying back trying to time a run, and that is also something that NASCAR says you can't do. So is that really what we want our sanctioned body to do right. is start calling feet throughout the entire field? I mean, then you've got to look at the video and say, well, which car wasn't laying back trying to get a run? Okay, I think it was the seventh place car. We'll make him the winner. <laughs> I mean, is that really what we want? So I just think we got to be really careful what we wish for in this particular instance. So it's never Denny's fault, like always. No, no, it wasn't Denny's fault. He didn't jump the entire field laid back. The 22, the 5, the 19, all of those guys laid back. They should all get penalties. So if everybody's getting a penalty, then Denny still wins. That's the most bizarro world take. I think Chris Gabehart might be living in banana land, in my opinion. Here, population, he and James Dennis Allen Hamlin, population of two. Because I don't think anybody else remotely says that. Even NASCAR never once mentioned that the 19 laid back, that the 5 or the 22 laid back either. Uh, the 19 or the 11 just rolled early. You can clearly see it on the video. He launches. You can hear from the onboard of Martin Trex Jr. The <laughs> 11 launches before the line. This has nothing to do with the rest of the field. This has everything to do with Denny Hamlin at that restart line jumping it. It's banana land to me, like I said. It's I get wanting to support your guy. I get, you know, supporting the cause to an extent, right? Uh, Somebody's going to be a martyr. I don't know if I'm Denny Hamlin's the guy that you want to be a martyr for. It's very, very weird to just come out and be like, hey, listen, you know, it was borderline. What I've really come to learn from this is Denny Hamlin and Chris Gabehart really just probably need to pay attention to what Joe Gibbs PR is saying more often than not, because their responses to these things this week, especially on social, have just been abhorrently bad, just not good at all. And like what Chris said there in all of his comments, he said a lot of words. It's like when Frank tries to pitch an idea to the gang and they're like, yeah, we heard you. There are a lot of words there. We're not going to do that. I can only assume that JGR, the PR department over there, just wants to scream like Arnold Schwarzenegger and kindergarten cop yelling, shut up right now. Shut up! Because they're just like, can we just move on from this topic? Of course, NASCAR does need storylines going into each weekend. I think that's something we complain about a lot, um, is that there's not enough storylines. And honestly, this storyline has already been beaten to the ground uh, so much that I think we're all tired of talking about it. At this point, we, I wish we could just dig it, bury it real quick, because it's not very good. But at the same time, it will not go away, and it's so frustrating. Chris Gabehart's out here talking as if he's, like I said, the smartest guy in the room, except I don't think anybody else has the same take as him, at least not that I've seen on anything so far. He has 21 Cup Series wins with Denny Hamlin, and neither of them seem to ever be wrong. Again, could be good for one another, but I'm not expecting Denny Hamlin or Chris Gabehart to come out and be like, yeah, we got away with one. We definitely jumped. It was all ours. Of course, they're going to come out and, you know, defend the shield, you know, to their fullest extent. Pulling a uh, 
pulling a Roger Goodell being like, there's no concussion problem in the NFL. And then secretly behind the door being like, we need to fix this right now. They, of course, are never going to come out and be like, yeah, we cheated. We jumped. No, of course not. I don't expect I don't think anybody expects that. But to just have some common sense to be like, hey, listen, NASCAR put out their response. We don't think that we jumped. Uh, you know, we're just going to go with what they've said now. And, you know, maybe next time we'll have to pay a little bit more attention. OK, fine. Move on. Perfect. That's an easy answer going on from there. The 11 team so badly, I think, wants to be the villains of NASCAR. Denny wants to try to embrace that heel role um, within the sport. And I he just doesn't have it. I've said it before. He's just not a good villain. Facial structure wise, he's not a good villain. He's not very good on the mic. He kind of stumbles over his words sometimes. Sure, at the Bristol night race, he delivered that line perfectly when he's like, I beat your favorite driver. But then when he tried to do it at the Coliseum or wherever he did it at last, it was, yeah, I think it was the Coliseum. It was really clunky and really bad. And it's like, oh man, it was like Hayden Deegan trying to yell, welcome to the danger zone after he won his his first Supercross race at Dallas earlier this year. You just got Ah, I got goosebumps. It was so cringy. It's like, oh, man, please stop. He's just not a very good villain. And his crew chief, Chris Gabehart, incredibly smart guy, went to Purdue. Intelligent guy. Don't get me wrong. Not a very good villain either. Not good on the mic. Just you got to pick and choose your battles here. I'm just tired of talking about it at this point. So this is the last time I'm talking about Denny Hamlin jumping the restart. Unless, of course, he does the same thing at Martinsville this weekend, which will absolutely send the entire sport into a massive uproar. People might be losing their minds. They could invade the track at Martinsville. Remember that guy from a few years ago at Martinsville after the Denny Hamlin Chase Elliott incident looked like Grizzly Adams when he tried to fight Denny Hamlin? Yeah, if Jenny jumps the restart again this weekend and NASCAR doesn't call it, I can only assume that guy's going to lead a crusade out onto the racetrack like that guy in Happy Gilmore that got the nail on his head when he's running down the fairway and everybody's behind him. That's what it's going to look like. People are going to lose their minds if this happens in back-to-back weeks in the same state as Virginia, the Commonwealth has never seen an uprising like this before. Not even, you know, the eh, side of history that we don't like to talk about that much. No, no, no. So hopefully we don't have to talk about that. Hopefully it's just like a pretty straightforward race. Maybe get some passing in there. I don't think we all have a lot of high hopes for that. Maybe we'll get a surprise winner. Maybe Stuart House Racing will come out and shock everybody and get a winner. Maybe Ford, well, which I guess Stuart House Racing is a Ford. Maybe Ford will actually show up and win a race at some point this year. I think they would probably like to do that. So either way. Denny's never wrong. We've established that. But he definitely jumped the restart. Let me know in the comments what you think about Chris Gabehart's comments. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.